Chair recognized, Chairman 37th. Thank you, Mr. President, members of the Senate. I bring you House Bill 826. This, this bill has to do with carrying weapons on school campuses. Over 20 years ago, the state legislature passed a bill that established a zero tolerance weapons policy for school campuses. And throughout the years, this has been a very problematic issue in the state of Georgia. And some, some school students inadvertently may bring a very small kitchen knife to school to cut a piece of fruit that may have a two and a quarter inch blade. Under the provisions of this bill, those students are supposed to be charged with a felony. And I believe that the bill before us today does a better job clarifying what truly is a weapon and what truly is a threat in our schools. I will go with you through the bill and outline some of the major portion, portions of it, and I will try to be brief. I'll direct your attention to line number 37 that deals with firearms. They have been defined in this bill, a handgun, rifle, shotgun, or other weapon which will or can be converted to expel a projectile by the action of an explosive or electrical charge. If you'll move down to line 49, you will see the former definition of, the, of weapons as it is in current law. This included a much more comprehensive list of things that could be used as a weapon. And, and I would say this, in many school districts throughout the state of Georgia and certainly in Cobb County, this has been very problematic in that students were charged with very innocuous objects that have been deemed to be a weapon and the DA was forced to null process cases. And that's not good law. What this, what this law does is remain, uh, is to leave the possession of firearms or any instrumentality that's more dangerous than firearms in the law is punishable as a felony. But I will, I will direct your attention to line 211. They have created another class of hazardous objects, and these objects can be handled by school policy. I'll submit to you that any object that is used in a threatening or dangerous manner can still be used, can be punished under the criminal code of the state of Georgia. This is a reform that's long overdue, and I encourage you your favorable consideration of this bill. Mr. President, if there's no questions, I'll yield the will. Chair recognize Senator on 39th for a question. Will the Senator yield? Absolutely. Uh, Senator, I remember uh, this being discussed in committee, and I want to ask a question just for clarification. Would this authorize, is there anything in this bill that would authorize a school board uh, to authorize people to carry weapons in schools? There's no change in the law on that. Currently, a school system can already authorize people to have weapons. That's currently in the law. I'll say this from personal experience. I think most of the time it would be very inadvisable, but they have the power under current law. And uh, what, in where, is that the, uh, if the Senate were further yield? Is yes. that discussed here in this bill at all? Yes, sir, it is. And can you direct, if the Senate will further yield, can you direct me to the location in the bill? Well, if I can find it, I will. Yes, sir. Under the list of exemptions, if you'll go to line 100, it says any person who's been authorized in writing by a duly authorized official of the school and that has been changed to a school, a local board of education, or post-secondary institution to have any such per in any such person's possession or use within a school safety zone or on a bus or other transportation furnished by the school a firearm. Well, 
and it goes on. But this provision, if you go back and look in the original language, they can already do this. A little bit of language change, but, but nothing substantive in it. Right. Well, the Senator, further yield yes, for one sir. final question. If this is indeed the case, then why do we have bills being considered even as we speak by the legislature calling for off the school systems to authorize the carrying of firearms in schools. If, the, if it's already in place, why do we have bills that are being considered at this very hour? To I do can't this? answer that. I didn't submit that. The only thing this bill does is change that language just a little bit, but it's not a substantive change. But it's already in the law. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you. Um, Chair and I, Senator 49, no, no, waves it off. Um, no further questions, Senator. A you or will. Does any other Senator wish to speak for or against the bill? Is there objection? We're in the Porter Committee. Which should favor pass the bill? All those in favor of the bill vote aye. Those opposed, no. Secretary, unlock the machine. We um, need to try to pick the pace up just a hair bit if we can. Senator from the ninth, stand by on a special order. On the passage of the bill, the yeas are 44, the nays are 2, and this bill, I'm serious, Constitution Majority is therefore adopted. <laughs> <laughs>